Oh my god, this one. Oh. Idiot! Idiot, no! Get the exosuit! <laughs> what is going on, everybody? Right here, back with another episode of Subnautica. I have a few awesome things to show you. One thing in specific is just amazing. And um, if I... Uh, if I sound a little different, it's because I am still sick. That was a... Uh, I've been kind of sick for a week, so if I wait until I'm not sick anymore, it would take forever until I record again. Anyone who didn't catch that last ARC video, I kind of have just a bad cough, cold, and a, like an inner ear infection that makes my brain feel like it's being compressed slowly, and it's just, it's horribly painful, but I have a good amount of cough medicine, I'm pretty looped up and ready to do this. Alright, first things first, I'm not actually entirely sure when this was added, because um, I've been kind of out of the loop, you know, killing dinosaurs and shit, but um, apparently you cannot make the generator anymore, there is just no more, unless it's right before me here and my eyes are just betraying me. So there's a sign. It's a sign from God. I don't know. Aliens, maybe? We are aliens, though, are we? But yeah, see, there's no more generator anywhere. Now it appears you get your energy from a lot cleaner source. <clears throat> Which I could totally understand because it's Subnautica, and I assume we're a very green people. See, that's how we haven't really left a trail of garbage except for the, uh, the giant flaming radiation toxic waste machine we call the Aurora. So never mind, we're actually a, a horrible people. We've, we've somewhat ruined this planet. For all we know, they were a bunch of mermaids here, and then the radiation went off, and now they're big fat gasopods just shitting all over the place. Okay, stop getting sidetracked. What are you doing? <laughs> it's fucking a little loopy right now. All right, so I built that window for God knows why. And here, here we have the... Which way's the sun? I suppose that doesn't even matter, but being OCD, I will try and make it look somewhat realistic. And there you go, the base just generates energy this way now. Look, 90% charged, 53%. No, the sun is at 90% right now, and that's how much charge it is. That's pretty cool, but um, I kind of miss the generator, because what if it's nighttime? Do you not generate? Do you just have to rely on like having enough charged up? Solar panels are beautiful and all, and everyone should definitely have them, because it's just so much easier way to harness energy. Like, we have this infinite amount of energy coming down on us from the sun. To not use it is just silly, but a backup generator is equally as necessary, because what about... The energy goes out, you know, shit. Refrigerator dies, all the food goes bad. There's no good ending there. All right, now aside from the silliness of the solar panels here, spawn exosuit. The exosuit or suit, suit still barely any more created now. You can get in it now and in fact walk around. I wish I could, obviously you can't, like or obviously I'll never be able to see it, but, and it probably doesn't see this how they're just sticks. But I like to imagine it's perfectly walking as I get in this right now. But the check it out, guys, as opposed to walking, it has a jetpack now, or a jet thruster, some sort of jet rocket fuel source, I assume, that allows to just fly up. At first I thought I was just swimming, but no, you are literally fucking flying this thing. And this right here, everybody, is why I decided to record no matter how sick and shitty I felt. I figured there's enough cough medicine to get everything done, including a uh, kill yourself, you gotta be careful with that stuff, it's super risky. But now, now it is worth it, for I'm flying way above. This is like, you guys remember that video, um, on the Aurora, where, whoa, oh, the game froze out, damn it, it was doing so good, too, the exosuit was really handling its shit. Alright, well, the fact that last time I got in the exosuit, the game would immediately freeze, like, the whole game would crash the second you entered it, and now, like, a week or two later, you can fly in it, I think that's still pretty cool. Now, probably gonna get a little closer to the base of the Aurora, cause I'm dying. Cause I just kinda wanna launch on top of it with the exosuit, like, that's so freaking cool, as I was saying right before the game froze, was uh, the On the Aurora video, where it took literally two videos, because it was like an hour climb building up the side of it, just creating kind of a scaffolding up the side, that shit was crazy. And now if I would've just waited a little bit longer, now you could just fly up on top of it. It's kind of a huge slap in the face. Dark Ooh, we got a flashlight, fancy. Now, um, one thing I'm cons er, confused about, like, you know if I turn off oxygen, then it lets me breathe inside this, but I don't have a radiation suit on, I have no damage on, so I'm not taking damage. So if I turn that off, Oh, yep, yep, you still do this, does not protect from radiation. It does, however, let you breathe, and that is pretty damn cool. Now, where the hell is this? There we go. Right up, meow. Couldn't even see it. The water's so filthy with, uh, with fish shit, really, and radiation. Don't you crap out on me now, you son of a bitch. Get on up there. How about the combination of having to generate the top of the Aurora? No, they should expect people to hop the Aurora now, now that they can do it in five seconds. Oh, son of a bitch, oh, son of a Alright, down to try that Uno Moss time. Probably get a little super close again though. I don't want to deal with that shiz like again. <laughs> I don't want to freeze halfway over there. I want to at least touch my feet to the bottom of it. Maybe if we try the back engine, that would work or something? I think I saw a Reaper Leviathan over there like a minute ago. Oh, son of a bitch! <laughs> Speak of the devil! Oh my god, 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 this one. Oh, idiot! Idiot, no! Get the exosuit! Fucking shit! Ah! I wonder if the exosuit would even protect- get, get out of the way, Rock. 
wonder if the exosuit would even protect me from the Reaper Leviathan. This intrigues me. Oh, shit, 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 shit. The Reaper is very active right now. He was not active a minute ago. His ass was like sleeping on the ocean floor or something. Oh, that's what I had worried about. I swam way under the ocean floor. Oh my god. He clipped me. He clipped me, this son of a bitch. <laughs> god, I was way too close. Oh, there he is. Are you gonna eat me right now? Is that gonna happen? No, nope, it's not gonna happen. Thank you, limes. Oh, 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 where am I? Okay, I'm still in here. So, uh, so he ate me. Douchebag's not letting me get near the Aurora now. All right, we have a we have ways of dealing with people like you. I'm gonna tell on you, sir. Time to find out right now how the exosuit handles Reaper Leviathans. I hear him yelling. Can't fool me, sir. Ah, uh, see, it's kind of just like a steady move forward. That's why I, I kind of feel like it's not footsteps, but footsteps would be awesome. Where are you? I could not picture a Reaper Leviathan this close to a kelp forest. It just doesn't make sense to me. Seems, seems odd. It's like, what, did the, uh, did the Aurora just open up some deep down hole to some scary ass- There he is! He's coming! How do we handle it? How are we gonna take it? Ooh, he can't bite us. Ha ha ha! That's probably, um, that's probably just because he's not programmed to bite us yet, though. I feel like that might not be a permanent thing. Either way, though, it sure is nice to be invincible. Honestly, though, the only reason I'm saying that might not be a permanent thing is because this would fit perfectly in a Reaper Leviathan's mouth. Would not fit in, it's like even almost, it's only a little bigger than the freaking sea moth, but if they grabbed it from the side, got perfect access to the person, you would just get eight. Damn it, it just does not let us land on it. The second we start to, it freezes every goddamn time. All right, well, that's pretty much what you can expect when you play things as they're developed by the programmers. You know, everything's gonna be super buggy. That's just the way it is. The fact that um, the exosuit still looks like this shows how an early development stage it is, but now I just kind of want to see how high up we could fly. If we could uh, touch the sky and all that Michael Jordan song stuff. Maybe we could even exit the atmosphere and contact our home planet. Oh, no, or, or that'll happen, son of a bitch. So clearly this thing is um, not available for testing whatsoever. Kind of what I- ooh, you know where we'll go? By- oh, oh, son of a bitch, gotta type it in. By, um, islands? Alright, cool, just a uh, free fall us onto here, shouldn't freeze. Nothing ever really freezes in this game, unless you have a freaking exosuit. <gasps> Ooh, I wonder what happens when you explode the Aurora with the exosuit right by it. Although I can imagine... What, what the hell? Spawn exosuit. Blends in perfectly with the terrain. I like that shit. Cool, dude. Instant access to everywhere on the island. This is pretty neat. This is like... I know it's clearly not developed like uh, whatsoever like for gameplay. Like it's definitely not going to be implemented for a while. By a while, I mean a while's worth of progress, not a while's worth of time. I'm sure these guys are working super hard on this because they're doing a beautiful job with Subnautica. But even though it's not even close to complete, now that there's a vehicle that allows you to fly and walk around and not need oxygen or not need the oxygen dev command or air tanks, you bet your ass I'm going to do an update video on it. This is so freaking cool. In fact, I wonder if, um, oh, actually, oh shit, whoop, do not, do not right click in the exosuit. What the hell's going on here? I'm just going to keep flying forever. This is some super glitched ass shit right here. Well, I'm just, I'm gone. I'm gone forever now. Are we eventually going to get above the Aurora? Oh, we almost are. What the hell is going on here? This is not what I expected in this video. I didn't expect to glitch out and fly into the atmosphere myself. You know what, guys? I'm starting to get the feeling that we broke Subnautica again. Is there any way... Any way down from here? You know what I could do? Kill myself! <laughs> it's, it's super fun. Oh, Jesus Christ, I just lift back up. Are you kidding me? It's like some infinite curse. This is terrible. Spawn reef back 20. Now that I'm up here, might as well decorate the place. Shit. Sub Cyclops 20. Oh, I only I only ever get what I swear I get rickrolled so much on the Cyclopses, I swear to god. Spawn reef back up oh, no, no, reef back a hundred. Way up in the sky, bitch. Oh damn. Now they're they're gone forever. I, I suppose they all are. This look like flinging coins now. Son of a bitch, I'm done with this! Grab onto something! Grab onto something quick! Perfect, as long as I stay in here, I just stay on the roof. I'm like somebody getting his fucking vampire powers for the first time and doesn't know how to walk on the ceiling. I get sucked to the roof. What am I doing up here? This is exactly... It's right when I leave this ladder. I float up in the air! It's like I'm made of fucking helium. Spawn exosuit. Can I get in one here? Me and you, girl! Don't you go- Oh, shit! Oh my god, it's gonna kill me! Is it gonna kill me forever now? No, I'm in the exosuit now. Okay, so now we just need to somehow exit the life pod. I'm in the exosuit in the life pod. That's advanced right there. Oh, Jesus Christ, now they're just doing the dirty in there. Hey, but you know what? I'm not flying anymore, so that's cool. I think the game just thought I was I was stuck inside an exosuit going up, which I clearly am not. 
I'm, I don't even want to see what's going on here. Probably something filthy. I guess I can take a peek. What's going on in here? Oh, Jesus Christ! There's nothing in there but me for it. Or, okay, that's weird. My my uh, my my cyclops is all the way up in the sky. That's that's not supposed to happen. Are you guys seriously still doing this shit? I'm pretty sure I'm taking this up into the air right now. Oh no! I'm taking me into the air. Okay, I'm gonna get in my fucking cyclops right now. This is about to be the craziest shit I've ever seen. Boarding a fucking cyclops that's a freaking thousand feet above the water while flying up there myself. Oh no! I'm gonna miss it. I'm gonna miss it. <gasps> No, it was too perfect! Oh, son of a bitch! Oh, it's gonna fall now. Oh, of course it is. Sees me coming and takes off. Just like every other man in my life. Alright, get out of there! I appear to have broken the Subnauticas once more. What the fuck am I even doing with my life? What the hell was I in before? Weird. It's like Inception, a life pod within a life pod. Alright, miraculously enough, it appears everything is back to normal. That, uh, freaking Cyclops disappeared into nothingness, but whatever. Oh my god, my exosuit actually survived. That is crazy. Of all things, I thought for sure your ass would have glitched out. Can I not enter you? Oh, it died from being inside the- Where the fuck did that thing come from? Are you serious? Where's everything just appearing from? He's back up in the sky. Salute you, sir. Alright, well, all in all, this is a super awesome update. I can't wait till the exosuit's more advanced. I don't know if this is for certain, but I remember reading that they were talking about the possibility of giving at least the advancement of the exosuit a drill arm for deep sea drilling and adventuring, which all in all, just everything about this suit sounds fucking incredible. I'm uber excited, as you can tell. I have like 102 degree fever, and all I want to do is play Subnautica. But um, if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to smack that like button, subscribe for more, and have a nice day. Peace!